Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film my bi-weekly makeup basket for you and this time it is going to be a collab with my friend Abby from Make Life Your Runway. She's my home girl. And we're gonna go ahead and do this makeup basket together. She does hers on a weekly basis. I do mine every two weeks and what we decided to do was just pick some of the same products even if they're not the same color but we do have several of the same products that are the exact same color and we're going to go ahead and use those for the next her for the next week for her and for the next two weeks for me. We didn't discuss but maybe she'll keep those products in her basket for the following week even when she refilms a new one just because I'm doing mine for two weeks but we'll see. Um, so welcome to my channel if you're coming over from Abby's channel. If you're coming over from anybody else, Courtney K, Emily R, Tea Time with Emily. I've done collabs with all those girls recently. I've been on a collab kick. So if you're coming over from any of those girls channels, welcome and I hope you enjoy my channel and my videos and um, if you haven't already go ahead and go over and check out Abby she's awesome she's been doing by uh, weekly makeup baskets for quite a while now she's done some other videos she just jumped in on the 14 by February 14th project pan she's doing another project pan she's done some get ready with me she has a series called abstract Abby where she just kind of sits down and throws some makeup together and just comes up with a look so she's really great I love her channel it's starting to evolve she's doing more things on her channel so I love that. so I'm gonna try and keep this video as quick as possible I'm gonna go ahead and show you the things that I I'm taking out of my basket for this week. Once again, I'm not going to be showing you any of the products that are in any of my projects, including my most recent sample roulette that I just started. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the things that I'm going to take out of my basket. Initially, I was going to do a one palette one month, but then I pulled a lot of singles for this basket. So I took, I'm going to take out my Lorac Mega Pro palette. This is the original one. I did get a look out of this when I went away for a couple days with my husband for my birthday and that was the reason why I pulled it. I thought I would use it for the rest of the two weeks but I had so many singles that I wanted to get through and when I pull things from my basket I really want to use everything that I've pulled plus try to really get some use out of my project items. So I did get the look that I wanted out of this for when I was away and then I'm just going to go ahead and take that out because I'm really not using it enough to justify it as a one palette one month but as far as pulling it for my last basket I did get a use out of it so that was kind of my um, goal for that for sure. The next two things I'm going to pull out are these two color pops from the Mondays in Malibu collection. This is the color in Gecko and this is the color in I believe Sand Swoon. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these two colors out. I did get to use them in the last basket. And I'm pulling some more singles this week. And plus I want to work more on my Pan That Palette. Plus, obviously you saw there were some colors that I did not put back. So we'll get into those. And the next... Um, group of things that I'm taking out are in here. So I'm going to take out the ColourPop Metamorphosis palette, which was the Coffee Break with Danny. It's not really a palette, it's a quad of four single eyeshadows. I was able to use all four of these in my last basket. The color in... Now I need to pull it out because I have to tell you. The color in Kindness, if you can still get this quad, which I think you can, I know that a little while ago now, Danny said she didn't know how much longer it was going to be on the site, but I have still seen it there. It is a dupe for Max Boom Boom Room. I don't know if she showed that on her channel. I don't know that I've seen that anywhere here on YouTube. I do know that Solstice from Urban Decay has been compared to that, but Boom Boom Room and that are pretty similar, and I I did leave Boom Boom Room in this bi-weekly makeup basket, so I went ahead and took that out just because it was easier to take the whole set out. I'm just going to pull from here. I am going to take out my Becca Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector, and I've already put it back in the box, and the reason for that is because Abby and I are pulling a highlighter. 
I am going to pull my Benefit Dallas. And when I say pull, I mean I'm taking it out. I'm going to take out my Benefit Dallas blush. I did get a wear out of this. And I have some blushes in my projects that I want to go through. Plus, I've pulled two blushes for this basket. <clears throat> I'll go through some eyeshadows after I go through and just show you. I'm going to take out my Benefit High Beam. I do have the NARS Copacabana liquid that I have in a project that I'm using. I did get one use out of this. So like I said, anything I pull for my baskets, I do at least want to use once and not, not get any use out of it. I am going to take out my Flower Beauty in Orchiding Around. This was something that Bethany from Glamour with Grace had reminded me of, and I'm glad she did. I definitely have this in mind. I did use this once, this basket, so I'm okay with pulling that out. The three shadows that I'm going to pull out of the basket are um, Max Rule, Max Amber Lights, and the NYX Fireball. I almost left them in because I really like using all three of these together in combination between my crease and my lid and using Max Industrial which is in a project on my bottom lash line but I realized that there's one look that I can still use with everything else that I left in that I really love that I don't really need these shadows and they're kind of just taking up space for me using them once or twice and I do have some additional singles that I'm going to put in. So we'll go ahead and take those out. And the last group is lip products. These two, I the NARS Cruella and NARS Rakugian, what are these called? The Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. I put these in the last time. I got them for my birthday gift and I did not use them. So I'm just going to go ahead and save them rather than trying to force myself to use them. I do have a lot of lip products between all of my projects. I keep saying all of my projects, all of my projects. So I'm sorry if that's annoying. But um, I do have a lot of lip products. So I'm going to go ahead and take those back out. The Revlon Berry Hot. I still really enjoy this color and I am glad that Nicole from Young Wild and Polished reminded me to pull this out but I am going to take this back out. I did get one use out of this in this basket. The next lipstick I'm going to take out is Max Rebel and I did wear this on my lips yesterday sheared out over a lighter color and I really loved it but I do have a similar color that I'm going to pull for this week in collaboration with Abby so I'll go, I will show you that here in just a bit so those are the things I'm going to be pulling out of my basket so everything that I had for that I'm going to keep in this basket was in this little thing I did take everything out so I'm going to go through and show you the things that I did not get to use in this two week period of time that I want to keep in because I do want to get some use out of them and then I'll go through the things that I'm just going to leave in because I want to leave them in and um, keep using them so the first four things are the ColourPop shadows from Mondays and Malibu I did not use Snake Bite. I did not use Mirage. I did not use Prickly Pear, which is very surprising to me because this is the one color I did want to use. And I did not use the color in Hot Tamale. I did say that I used all of the colors in the Quad 4 Coffee Break with Danny, but I did not use the dark brown color. I'm not familiar with the name for that one. I realized that I have a dark brown color in my Pan That palette and other stuff, so I just didn't want to force myself to use it. That's the only shadow I did not use out of that. So sticking with ColourPop, I am going to go ahead and leave in my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the color Parasol because I wore this a couple times in this basket and I absolutely love this color. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that in. Going back to eyes, I should have just stayed there, but I wanted to stay with ColourPop. I'm going to leave in the two MAC shadows in Boom Boom Room and my color in Smoky Mauve because I really love this color and the look that I get out of it. And Boom Boom Room is just so versatile. I can use it over top of a lot of different things and come up with a couple different looks that I'm really loving. The next two things that I'm going to keep in my basket are the MAC color in Fun Ending and the MAC color in Animal Instincts. The next thing I'm gonna leave in my basket is the Sony Kashuk Cream Bronzer in the color Rich Bronze. And as you can see, I have hit pan on this and I am looking forward to trying to use this up in the next year. So this is gonna be one of the product, products that I'm going to try and finish up in 2016. 
I am going to go ahead and leave in this Maybelline Matte and Poreless. It's so close to the end. I'm just trying to finish it up, but I am kind of rotating through some other foundations and stuff between samples and what have you. So, but I'm going to leave that in. The next two products I'm going to leave in are my MAC in Dark Side. I wore this once while I was away, and this is the lip liner in... Night Moth. I don't know why I forgot that. I'm wearing this today with Kat Von D's Rakeem and I'm wearing the Night Moth around the outside and Rakeem in the center and I really like this look. I did only wear this once. This is the first time that I've worn these two products in my current basket items but I really do want to keep it in and try and maybe use this look again. I know I'm punishing myself with lip products but We'll see. This is the Butter London Wink Color Mascara in the color Chav, C-H-A-V. I am wearing this today. This is the first time I'm wearing this in this basket, and I didn't, I, I won't say force myself to use it this time, but I did want to make a point to use it this time so that I could use it in this two-week basket of time. Abby keeps this type of color in her basket all the time, just as a little fun thing. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this in too. She has hers in, it's like NYX, I don't know if it's pistachio or mint or something like that. So it's kind of the same kind of color. And the last thing I'm going to keep in my basket is the color from MAC in Stars and Rockets and I'm going to keep this in because this is one of those colors that I use in the look that I try to achieve with the MAC Boom Boom Room which leads me to the fact that this is staring me in the face and I did not show this either. I'm going to go ahead and leave in my MAC Pigment and Vanilla. It's been in here forever. It is quite versatile but again it is being used in that look with Stars and Rockets Boom Boom Room and my MAC Industrial Pearl Glide Liner in industrial. Um, so this is pretty versatile. I can use it as a highlight too if I wanted to. So that is the products that I'm going to keep in my basket this, this next two weeks. And the next part is the most exciting part because this is the collab part with the exception of a couple items which I'm going to show you first. These are what I'm going to add into my basket that were not previously in it these last two weeks. And so that is the e.l.f. blush in the color Koi. And if you guys watched one of my last two videos, I did a $20 makeup challenge with Tea Time with Emily here on YouTube. And I use this for a lot of different uses. But I really was impressed with it as a contour and as a blush. So I did want to put that in my basket this next two weeks. Again, problem with lip colors. I wanted to put in my e.l.f. matte lip cream, but what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it right this minute, is I'm going to swatch this against Rakim, which right now I see a total difference. But I think these, I thought these colors might be totally similar, at least what I put on my lips. Mm. There is a difference. This is obviously the e.l.f. matte lip cream and this is the Kat Von D Rakim liquid lipstick. So I'm going to leave both in, again, punishing myself with lip products, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can at least get one use with it. The next thing I am going to put in this basket because I just used up my e.l.f. eyelid primer is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is kind of just going to be one of those everyday things that kind of just stays in here. But I did want to show it because it differs from what I was using last. And so the most exciting things are the project items or the collab items with Abby. I think I got everything that we talked about. Um, so the first thing that we're going to be using, and we have different colors, but these are the Makeup Geek shadows. Why can't I do this? These are the Makeup Geek shadows that Abby got me for my birthday. So this is the color in my tie, and this is one of their duochrome shadows. You can see the packaging is different. This is the color in Beaches and Cream, which is a transition color, and I have a, a number of transition colors that I'm trying to work on right now 
in projects but I am going to get some use out of this and find maybe some other way to use it as well and this is the color in cherry cola and this is one of their new matte formula eyeshadows which when I first watched it I felt like it was quite dry it took a couple of swatches for me to get some color payoff so I'm excited to see how this does on the eye she's going to pull the three the two shadows that she got from Makeup Geek which are Bitten and I forget which other one she got but it's an orange color. She got those colors because she was not able to get the 35O palette from Morphe which as of last night was still in stock. The next thing we pulled because I gave this blush to her was the IT Cosmetics CC Radiance Ombre Blush and this is what it looks like. It's a little more shimmery up here. It's a little more of a highlight. This is a mid-tone, and this is a little bit more of a darker color. And so we both pulled this, and we're going to get some use out of this in our baskets this week. Me, two weeks. The next thing we pulled is pretty exciting. This is the MAC O oh Darling Highlight. And she's been using this for a little while. I have not used mine. This is O oh Darling. And the last two things that we discussed pulling, she has been pulling Berry Smoothie Revlon Lip Butter in the last week or two, or at least last last week that she did her video. I don't have Berry Smoothie, but I chose to pull two. This one I felt might be a little close to Berry Smoothie, but I don't think so. I think this is closer to Rebel, which is why I took Rebel out. This is Raspberry Pie, and this is the color. If I roll it up, I can't roll it back down, so I've just kind of left it there. And the next color is Fig Jam, and this is what this color looks like. It's a little more of a brown, a little more nudie. I thought that might be kind of cool to play with these next two weeks. So that is everything for our collab. This video is getting long again like it always does, but I did want to just show you the things that I use kind of on an everyday basis that I'm just trying to use and some that I'm trying to work through. Okay, so first I will start with this little NYX Wonder Pencil that I kind of found in my little variety of makeup there that I haven't been using in a little while because I've been using my Pro Longwear Concealers. But I do want to start using this and putting this down because as you can see I don't have very much left. So I did want to just work through that. The next thing that I have are some eye products. I kind of just leave my Scandalize and Nude in just in case I want to put a nude in the waterline. My Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk just in case I want to put a white base down so that a color really pops which I always forget to use even though it's there. So this is kind Kind of reminder of myself for myself too of the things that I, I have um, for brows I have my L'Oreal brow stylist plumper and this is in the transparent then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel in the color brunette and this is for when I want some more color in my brows this is kind of either to just tame my brows when I don't want to do anything or to go over top of the brow product from Tarte that I'm using in one of my projects the next thing that I have is the um, Lancome Faux Sills. I always forget to use this. It's a lash primer. I feel like it's getting kind of um, thick, so I want to try and use this and try to get through it to the end. The next thing are some mascaras that are not in any projects. This is the L'Oreal Collagen Mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which I hear is a lot like Benefit Roller Lash. And this is my MAC False Lashes Waterproof that I'm just trying to kill. I'm just trying to finish it till the end. It's still kind of giving me some payoff and some um, look to my brow that I actually like so I'm still using it. But this is the Best Info Tarte. This is the Little Fibers. I kind of pulled this a couple of baskets ago and I haven't used it but I've kind of just been thinking of it as something that's kind of sitting there waiting for me to use not an actual item that I've pulled from my basket. The last Thing that I have that kind of just sits there um, as far as makeup products is the Revlon Lip Butter in the color Pink Lemonade and I kind of just throw this on in the morning to moisturize my lips and it's a light enough color that I can just go over it with my daytime lip color without having to rub it off because by the time I get to that point it's kind of a little bit more tacky and not as slide slidey as it was before. Um, so the next thing are a couple of little mini perfumes. I have a ton of these as well. Everybody was like, oh my god, how do you have so many samples in my last sample roulette video? This 
is a problem too. So I'm trying to go through these. I had pulled or just, you know, kind of threw into a basket a week, a uh, basket or two ago, this Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I'm just using this every once in a while. I had also found in my car an Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. I don't think I showed this in a video. So I dug around just to see if I had a Nirvana Black, and I do because I really like these two together, although I did kind of spritz this on yesterday by itself. I do prefer the black if I'm talking about wearing it by itself but then I really prefer the two together. So I wanted to show you the problem that exists. I do have this whole thing full of little um, perfume samples. I didn't want to dump any out, so that's why I didn't want to open it too much. So there's that. Then I have, I don't know, something like 20 full-size perfumes. And I have this whole little thing full of roller balls and mini little bottles. I wanted to show these real quick because they are just so stinking cute. These are mini bottles. This is the clean cotton t-shirt. This is a who is that? Tory Burch. I don't know if I really like the scent or not. This is the little Miss Dior Eau de Toilette and the bulk of my roller balls is um, these Elizabeth and James. So I have a ton of Elizabeth and James. I didn't want to pull one of these because technically this is a roller ball, not a little thing. That's why I went and looked for a little uh, spritzer mascara, uh, spritzer perfume for that um, black scent. And then I have another couple that I would really like to work on in the new year and I do have a roller ball for my Mac Turquatic as well but um, that is it for my makeup basket this week and my collab with Abby so I'm really excited to use some of the same products and I'm going to really try and take pictures of the looks that I come up with the things that I'm using I don't know if Mabby uh, Mabby I don't know if Abby's going to do the same or not, but I really do want to try and kind of step up that collab aspect of this video and kind of come up with some looks and kind of compare since we have a number of the same products. Though I'm thinking the only thing we really have is the blush and the highlight that are the exact same color, in which case what kind of a look are you really going to come up with? It's really about the eyes. So we'll see. Um... I don't know, just throwing out thoughts and stuff here. So I hope you guys are inspired to pull out some things out of your own collection and kind of do a makeup basket type thing to focus on using some of your products. I really think it's a great way to focus on rotating and pulling out some things from your collection that you're not trying to pan because everybody's doing these panning videos and there's some things in your collection that you might not want to finish. You might just want to use and get some good use out of and rediscover and that's what these baskets are about for me. I do find that I end up with only using a product once because sometimes I tend to get a little overzealous and pull a lot of stuff plus I have a lot of stuff in projects so I really only get one look out of it but sometimes I may remember that look and go back to that look when I don't have so much going on or want to do that look again in my next basket so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.